Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I'm gonna welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so when we moved into our new rental home about five months ago, we did not have any kind of real entryway storage and we also didn't have a coat closet. So I needed to create a space that was gonna function well for us. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the few easy things that I did to keep this super renter friendly and make this space work for us. All right, so a couple of things to note. I knew that I didn't want to permanently attach anything to the wall. We are renting temporarily, and so for that reason, I didn't want to attach something to the wall that we were gonna have to take down and fix when we leave. The other thing is I didn't want to purchase a big piece of furniture. Now there are a lot of great hall trees that you can purchase. You can purchase them from just about anywhere. Amazon has a lot of great options, but I knew for us that that wasn't something that I wanted to purchase. I really wanted to keep this cost kind of minimal. So I tried to work with some things that I had and then just purchase a couple of pieces to really make it function exactly like we needed. Now the main thing that we needed is I needed a place to hang my purse. My husband needed a place to hang his backpack that he takes back and forth to work every day. And my husband really needed a place to kind of stash his boots and shoes that he wears for work. He leaves super early in the morning, so he doesn't like to have to store them in our closet and bring them out because it's just noisy. And I don't like to see them when they're just kind of sitting by the door. So I needed to create a space for that. I also wanted to make sure that we had a place to hang some masks because that's a thing now. And we needed a place to, you know, sit down phones, keys, things like that. And of course, we also needed a few hooks so that we could stash maybe a jacket or something like that if necessary. Now we do live in Florida, so once winter rolls around, it will be very mild for us. We're not gonna need to store like hats and gloves and scarves and things like that. So I didn't need a lot of storage for that. All right, so as you walk into our entryway, you were greeted with this piece of furniture right here. This is a buffet that I used to have in my dining room. Here, we kind of use it as an entryway piece. I have a bowl and kind of a platter on top and it makes a great space for us to put keys, cell phone, all of those kind of things. And then I'm not gonna show you because it's all my husband's stuff, but in this drawer right here, my husband, he has extra keys, his earbuds, just all the things that he kind of throws in his pocket before he heads out to work. So that is a great space for that. I also wanted to point out that we do have a nice mirror here. That way it's real easy to kind of check yourself before you head out the door. And then over here, this is the wall that was basically just a blank wall when we moved in. Now I rearranged several rooms in our home several times kind of as we got here and this bookshelf finally landed here. Now I could use this for more practical storage, but for us, it, um, it doesn't really house anything that is needed in an entryway. The only thing is this little basket right here that is kind of where we stick mail as it comes in. And then I take it and file it and do things like that. But if you had just a random bookshelf that you weren't using, maybe that had doors, you could use this space down here to put baskets for kids shoes or things like that. Now we didn't need to store a lot of extra shoes and stuff. Like I said, we just kind of need a little bit of storage. And I kind of forgot that just a random coat rack existed. I was in at home one day and I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what we need. This was not expensive. I think it was around 50 bucks. It's metal. It's not super heavy duty, but we didn't really need it to be because my kids, they're not storing backpacks on here. I just needed a place to put my purse. My husband needed a place to put his backpack. We have masks on there and it doesn't take up a lot of room. It also works well with the bookcase right here because it's tall and it's just working really great. Now, the next thing that I purchased is just this large basket. Baskets are great for all of those things you don't wanna see. So you can see in here that my husband just has his work boots. There's plenty of room for another couple of pair of shoes, but when you come in, you kinda of don't really just see a pile of shoes, which is super nice. One tip that I have is if you need baskets, Ross and Home Goods are your best friend. I know that I paid less than $20 for this huge basket, 
and it really does the trick. So here's our entryway. You can see it's just nice and tidy. There's a place for the things that we need. I didn't have to spend a lot of money, but if you're someone that needs more space, you could definitely purchase like a hall tree or something like that, and it would work really well. But I like how this just kind of flows into our formal living room. And in keeping things real, I was just sitting here filming the intro and this basket fell off the wall. So yay for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created a functional entryway for our family. Maybe you gained some tips or tricks that maybe you hadn't thought of for your own home to use in some kind of way. If you are new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. Sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies, oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine.